Hey everyone, I hope you guys are all having an amazing day and I'm sure you had an amazing Christmas. I got a load of amazing Christmas presents, but one present that wasn't meant to be a present that turned out to be an awesome present was this right here. This. This, my friends, you may have seen in a tweet recently, actually contains games that are over, actually almost 15 years old, that I thought were lost forever. And so I went back to my parents' house for Christmas Day, and my mum had found this in my old room. You guys may have seen me tweet about this on Twitter. I put up a little picture, and I decided it'd be quite fun to boot up these old games that are so, so old, and see exactly how my old saves, assuming they still work and they haven't died, or, or all the memory being erased, see what my old saves were like on all of those old games. One in particular is my old Pokemon Ruby cartridge, which I'm sure I've mentioned in many Pokemon Go videos, because I had a complete Pokedex, I put so much time into it, and I thought it was lost forever until my mum handed me this beautiful gift of all my old games. All right, guys, here we are. I not only have this, which contains all my DS games and my completed Pokemon Ruby Pokedex, but I also found this as well. I thought I'd show you this because I like this just as much. I played a load of Need for Speed Carbon on it back in the day. This is the PSP. Graphics on it were actually mad for its time. So, so good. We won't be taking a look at it today, but I thought I'd show you that as well because both of them I put a lot of time into. But this right here, this contained all my games. As soon as I saw it in my brother's bedroom, I was like, I know what that is. I have not seen that in like 10 freaking years. So let's get inside, oh my gosh, and see if all my games are still in here. I sometimes put some, no, there's none in there. Sometimes in the front pocket. I had so many games in here, it was ridiculous. But this oh, is all of my games. Let's take a look at the console first, actually. This is it. This is a Nintendo DS Lite. The first console I owned was the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the original Nintendo DS, and then this guy right here. I got this sticker, I think, from the Nintendo magazine, along with this very cool little keychain from Animal Crossing, which uh, hung on the back there, and it was such a good console. I put, put so much time into this thing, it was amazing. Like, forget your PlayStation 4 Pros, forget your Xbox One Xs, this thing was so ahead of its time. Now, I can't prove this, but you, you have to believe me on this one. I haven't played this thing in about 10 years. So when I found it, I was like, you know what? I would love to make a video on this. I tweeted out about it. you guys like, yeah, I'd love to see it as well. Uh, check out my old Pokedex, all my old games and all of that stuff. And I was like, okay, well, the first thing I'm going to do is order a charger for this thing off of Amazon. I waited two days, it came. And when it arrived, I was like, you know what? Let me just see if this thing's got any battery and check this out. Bearing in mind, it's not been touched in 10 years. Look at this. That means full battery. That green bar means full battery. Look at this. It still works after 10 years. Name me one electronical gaming appliance that would work after 10 years of not being, not being touched. Insane. But look at this. Who remembers the old DS? It was amazing. Obviously, got the Alley A Blue. It even got the Alley A nickname. WWT was a clan. I think it was called Wii Troopers that I was in back in the day. Your boy was hitting competitive cop matches on the Wii back in the day. But also, who remembers Picto Chat? Oh yes, this was the classic local Wi-Fi MSN of the day. We could go into chat rooms and, oh my God, that's the worst handwriting ever. That's meant to me be me saying, hey, you could join anyone that was near you and chat away, draw little pictures, do silly messages. So much time was spent in this back in the day. Bearing in mind, you still have to be like sat right next to them for the Wi-Fi to actually work from the Nintendo DSs. But it was still awesome. And I thought that was such a cool throwback. I haven't been on Picto Chat in years. All right, let's shut that down for a second. Let's take a look at all the games that are in here, because there is a lot of them. One of my favorite, and oh my god, I love this game, Fire Emblem. I don't know if any of you guys have played Fire Emblem Heroes on the uh, on the iPhone. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is where it all originated, the first Fire Emblem game that was released outside of Japan and America and the U uh, EU. So, so good. What else did I have in here? I had uh, Yoshi's Island. Some of these are fake cartridges my grandparents used to get me from Thailand, cannot lie. Golden Sun, I think that was also a fake one as well, to be honest with you. Zelda, I never played this one. I played a lot of, I think I played Zelda Minish Cap, I completed that. But Zelda, Four Swords, Super Mario World as well. And then finally, Final Fantasy. I remember ordering this off of eBay, waiting weeks and weeks for it to come. It actually ended up coming from like China. It was a fake cartridge and it wouldn't keep my save data. It kept on crashing. And uh, I hated it as a result, unfortunately. No disrespect to Final Fantasy games. I'm sure they're great, but after that one it left a salty taste in my mouth, so I never ended up playing them But these bad boys look at this the old colored cartridges ladies and gentlemen You had this amazing like translucent sort of orange fire red cartridge This amazing ruby red Pokemon cartridge as well, and we're gonna boot them both up now fun fact Look at this in the bottom here 
So you see it says USA. I actually got this game before it came out in the rest of the world because I was in America at the time that Pokemon Ruby launched and I bought it in a um, in a game store in America, brought it back to the EU and was playing it for like weeks, if not even months before it ever came out in, in the UK. It was awesome. This is the cartridge that is like 15 years old. It's a full Pokedex on it. So we're going to check that out. So talking about Pokemon Ruby, this is obviously Gen 3. I've been doing a lot of Gen 3 captures on my phone recently and I've been recording a lot of it on my phone. So I think I'm gonna do an episode where maybe I just answer a load of your questions and show you all the progress I've made on the game I've got a lot of big evolutions I can do new captures that I could do So it's good timing that I found gen 3 the real cartridge just as gen 3's come out as well But first of all I want to boot up this bad boy Fingers crossed the cartridges even work, bearing in mind they've not been touched in like 10 years. They could have rotted away, they could have died, I don't know, but hopefully this works. So this Nintendo DS Lite was a great size, so portable, but, and it could play Game Boy Advance games, which is amazing. But this at the bottom here, which is a very nice like sort of bit of plastic just to cover up the bottom, was obviously quite small. So your games do stick out a little bit, unfortunately, in the bottom. But let's give Fire Red a go, a test runner, right guys? Can this work? Will this boot up the game after all these years? <gasps> oh no. So DS games go there. Game Boy games go there. It says there's no game pack inserted. Okay, there's only one way to solve this. And this is the old... <sighs> this, is, this is not looking good. I, I was worried this would happen. Come on, come on. Second time lucky. What are you saying? Ooh, start GBA game. It's working. The beautiful Game Boy sound. Oh my God. Let's see. Will this work? Will this? Oh, you ready? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the classic Fire Red intro music. We have it here. Let's take a look. I can't actually remember. Um, ooh, 12 hours and 19 Pokedex. So what I used to do back in the day, I would go ahead and play these games so much. As soon as I defeated the Elite Four and did all the end game content, I would then go ahead and actually repeat the game and restart the game. You could only ever have one save on Pokemon games, bear in mind. So this looks like it may have been one of those times where I reset the game. Let's see, who's in my party? Who am I rocking right now? A level three Weedle! Are you crazy? Weedle, what do you do? Oh, I don't want a level three Weedle. What about, what about my PC, guys? Maybe my PC has some hidden gems in it. What 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 are we saying? What are we saying, guys? Come on. Boost PC. Move Pokemon. Oh what What happened here? I have Pidgeys, Ratatas, Weedles, and Okay, well this, it, this car, okay, okay, we'll forget that because obviously there's nothing left in there, unfortunately. So I know this isn't where, like, my best ever Pokedex from Fire Red because back in the day, the only way to get a Chansey was to go in the Safari Zone, which was limited in terms of the number of steps you could take before you kicked out the Safari Zone, and it was like a 1% chance of finding a Chansey in the wild. So what you do is, and look at my screen here, you'd stand in one block of grass and just tap the D-pad. And you'd move like that, it wouldn't count as a step in the Safari Zone, but you still had a chance of having a wild encounter. So I do that infinitely until I eventually found a Chansey, and then there was a chance of actually catching it, which is again like 1%. So it was like a 0.001% of ever getting a Chansey. Took ages, but I did do it, but it's not on this game. It's not on here. So potentially, I may have sent it over to this one right here. This is the one I care about. This is the one that I've not played in so long. And I really, really, really want it to work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this cartridge right here, 15 years old, completed Pokedex, not touched or used in over 10 years. We are about to boot it up for the very first time and see if all of my completed Pokedex, all my Pokemon, all my saved data still exists. Fire Red worked after a little bit of blowing in the cartridge. Will this work? <gasps> There's no game pack inserted. Oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. Second time lucky worked. What are we saying? Oh my god, it's... Oh my god, no, 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 no. <sighs> okay, come on. <sighs> come on, come on, come on. This is the one that everyone wants to see. This is the one that we need to work. Don't mess around with me now. Start GBA game. 
Will this work? Will this work? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Please boot past the menu. <gasps> it's working! Oh my god. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Is the data still there though? Pokemon Ruby. I know you guys will be playing and catching a lot of these Gen 3 Pokemon on your phone right now. I know I, I am. But this is where they originated. Let's see. Oh, the internal battery has, has run dry. The game can be played. However, clock-based events will no longer occur. Is my data still there, though? Oh, look at that player. Ali A. I still call myself Ali A like 15 years ago. Time, 210 hours. What is that, like eight days or something? Nine days, maybe? Pokedex 199, guys, it still exists. Oh my gosh, here we are. This is the world of Pokemon Ruby. Who? Rem oh, let me bring up. Let me bring up the map real quick. Who remembers this? All right, the Hone map. Oh my god, so much time spent here. The old Elite Four, I think, was over here. We had. Uh, I'm not even gonna uh, try and pronounce these Pokemon actually. But, oh my god, it still works! Okay, okay, okay. What about my party Pokemon? Are they still there? What? There's only a Flygon. Beast Pokemon, though. Can't knock it. Cannot knock it at all. Good good move set. I like it, I like it. That must mean all of my Pokemon are in my party, guys. Look at the old PCs! The old Pokemon centers. They looked so trash back in the day, didn't they? So, guys, just before we check our Pokedex, I just want to show you. Pokedex... 199 scene, 199 own. I'm just going to scroll through all of these, ladies and gentlemen. As far as I was aware, the only Pokemon I didn't get was Jirachi and Deoxys. Um, apologies if I pronounced them incorrectly, but they were only event legendary Pokemon. You couldn't get them unless you went to like an event in Japan, which I just wasn't going to do as like 12 year old Ali. But I did have Rayquaza. <gasps> oh, so Latios was the Ruby exclusive Pokemon. Latias was the Sapphire exclusive Pokemon. And although I seem to manage to have gotten all the Pokemon from both Ruby and Sapphire, I think it was up to my brother to catch him, or maybe me on his game to catch him. And it's hard because they would randomly like dot around the map. I didn't manage to do it. So I was one Pokemon short, technically, excluding the, the exclusive legendaries. So guys, all of these Pokemon should be in this PC. Let's take a look. This hasn't been booted up. Man, this PC has done well to last this long. In so long. Let's move the Pokemon. Oh, look at this Torchic. We've got Blaziken. We had multiple starting Pokemon. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Random Chansey. That is literally the Chansey that I caught randomly super lucky in the Safari Zone on this cartridge on Fire Red. And I must have transferred it over to Pokemon Ruby. Let's take a look. Yeah, look at that. Obtained in a trade. Chansey. There it is. We found it, guys. Okay, what about the rest of these? This one's called Diamond for some reason. Dude X11. What the hell? We've got Skip Bloom in here. So I guess it's a mixture of Gen 1, 2, and 3. We've got Pichu. We've got ourselves Farfetch'd. There's a lot of Gen 1 and Le John, uh, Gen 2 in here as well, actually. We've got Corsola. Oh my gosh, they're all here. Oh, most of them seem to be here, but there aren't any legendaries, guys. Sharpedo, I love Sharpedo in Gen 3. Oh my god, Kelcleon, I forgot about that Pokemon. That's definitely not out yet already on Pokemon Go. All of these other boxes are empty, but notice how these boxes are called Diamond. I had, back in the day, a very, very rare disc, and it only worked on the GameCube. And you can only get it if you bought the Pokemon Coliseum edition of the GameCube, called Pokemon Box. This allowed you to transfer games by putting the, uh, the cartridge into a Game Boy Advance, which would then link up to the GameCube. You could move all the Pokemon around, and it allowed you to move them between generations when you shouldn't be able to trade. And I think, maybe, I've taken the Pokemon from Pokemon Ruby and put them onto Pokemon Diamond. Maybe. So I can't believe that. Shout out to my old DS and the old cartridge for 15 years later working, still having my completed Pokedex. I'm going to keep hold of this and make sure I never lose it again. But, I actually have my desk right here. This is my, you can tell I've been a Nintendo fanboy forever. Look at this, just Mario everywhere. This is my current gaming system. 
um, which has, I've actually got quite a few of these. This is my, I think it's Nintendo 3DS XL, I think is the official name. And I've got a load of games in here as well. I've got myself, what have we got in here? Pokemon X, Mario Kart, uh, Paper Mario, I completed Mario Tennis, Pokemon Black, Black 2. In my opinion, this is the greatest Pokemon game ever. Heart Gold, all the Pokemon followed you, absolutely amazing. But this one, I put a lot of time into, Diamond, may hold the key to where all of the legendaries went, potentially, from my Pokemon Ruby cartridge. So, um, what's in there at the moment? I think it's a Fire Emblem game again, you know. Yep, Fire Emblem Fates is in there. Let's switch that out. Turn this on. Jesus, screens are absolutely ginormous. <laughs> God, look at the screen comparison, man. Look at the size difference. That top screen's like three times bigger than my old DS, man. That's crazy. Now, I may have booted up this recently because me and Claire restarted. I played Ru Diamond, she played Pearl, and we were grinding for shiny Pokemon. It's got a Pokedex of 152. Let's see, it may have it on. Ooh, I'm not sure. They may have gone. Gengar, Luxray, Machop. Let's fly to a PC and see. If not, I may have stupidly transferred all of my ruby legendaries onto diamond and then restarted diamond to play it and not done anything with a pokemon which would suck let's see move pokemon okay we've got some legendaries we've got diagla we've got yuxi we've got mm, mm. no no how did i have 150 over oh, some here did I get any shinies? I thought I may have got a shiny. Seriously? They're not there. That is so... There is, there is one game. I don't know which one it is though. Because in Pokemon Diamond you could do a thing called chaining where you chained... You chained wild encounters together and each time you got the same Pokemon the number would go up and up and up and the higher the same numbers of encountered Pokemon went up and up your better chance of finding a shiny Pokemon. I had... On my original diamond, at least like four, five, six shiny Pokemon. And I also had loads of legendaries. I think I may have restarted the game by accident and lost them all. Damn. Unless I put them onto Pokemon Black? I don't know. Guys, you know what? I'm happy. I am happy. I'm gonna stop there. Both of these cartridges found after 10 years of not being played. And they also both worked along with this thing. Jeez Louise, what a trooper. Working and having not been charged in ages. And it's been a load of fun going down memory lane and revisiting these old games. And I thought it'd be a little bit of fun since I played a load of Pokemon on this channel. I've talked about these stories in the past and it, I've actually managed to find them again. It'd be a fun little thing to do with you guys. So if you've enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. I don't know if I could ever do anything like this again, but um, if you want me to maybe boot up some of my old games and show you some of my old progress, I can do if I find any other old games like that as well. But for the moment, I am gonna, you know what? I'm actually gonna go through Pokemon Black and Pokemon Black 2 and see if all the Pokemon are on the net, because they may be, I'm not sure. But I hope you've really enjoyed, guys. Going down my memory lane, booting up my old Pokemon games. Make sure you're subscribing. Also guys, just in case but a slight chance you aren't subscribed to my main channel, I am so close to 10 million subscribers. So if you're subscribed here and not there, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You could be the person that nudges me over to 10 million. So go and check it out. Doing loads of Fortnite videos over there. It's super exciting to make sure you're not missing out on that as well. I'll see you guys soon. Have an amazing end of year. Thank you for watching.